what's going on. What's going on, guys? This is the first of the CES content that you'll be seeing from me. I'm on a panel with a bunch of other creators taking a look at the Asus uh, ROG launch event at CES. Say hello. Pop your name in chat. We've got 12 minutes before it starts, but you will start to hear other creators as they come on. Ah, thank you. It's a nice waistcoat, isn't it? It's not bad. Specifically for uh, clay pigeon shoe in this jacket, actually. Don't know why I'm wearing it now. A bit warmer than wearing a nothing. Cooler than wearing a jumper. Brett, welcome to the chat. Thank you for joining. I hope you're all well this evening. I'm not drinking anything. I'm drinking water at the moment. Everyone got masks on. This is a virtual. <laughs> this is a virtual panel. So fortunately, coronavirus cannot transpire through the monitor. Those in the chat, how is the audio? How's the video stream? You need to let me know. Audio and video perfect. Fantastic. There may be a slight delay between you guys and the chat. That is because I'm currently doing like several downstreams, upstreams, restreams. It's going to be a bit crazy. A bit of a crazy one, but I'm excited. This is the first part of the CES coverage. And if all goes well, I might do some more live content on CES. Uh, hello from the US East Coast, Tim. Hello, mate. US East Coast. There's definitely going to be a delay, I think. Geeky stuff saying I've got some strange ears. That's no way to talk about a fellow content creator. How dare you? <laughs> but let's join. We're going to watch this together. Uh, I might not be able to talk too much to you guys in the chat because I'm speaking to a couple of the other creators as well. Um, so you're just going to have to bear with me on that one. But joining to, uh, me tonight, we've got Stallion, we've got King P Money, and Mr. Greggles. Nine minutes to go. What does everyone think of the pre-CES announcements so far? Has anyone seen any of the stuff? We've had some stuff coming up. <laughs> I do have a cat on my head, that is correct. Yeah, it is a bit weird. They've got like, uh, they're launching loads of stuff at the moment at CES, but they're launching it through uh, prior to the media days, uh, prior to the actual start date, which is a bit confusing because the start date is now, tomorrow, today. I, I never know with the time difference. Never know with the time difference. Could be today, could be tomorrow, could be yesterday. I'm just going to try this as well. You should have a very large image of me come up on your screens. And back to that. That works.
He'll feel trading. You've no idea what any of this means. But you trust me, so I'm in. Welcome. I'm just here to chill. Here to take a look at the new Asus launch. CES, if you didn't know, is the Consumer Electronics Show. It happens every single year uh, over in America. I was going to try and get over there in my physical body this year, but obviously the unfortunate state of the pandemic has meant I've not been able to get across, or I decided not to in the end, so... Uh, it doesn't matter, but CES is where loads of companies basically release brand new products. They have events like the one we're watching today from Asus, uh, announcing all of the upcoming tech or latest tech from that company. Also, this is the first... Any predictions? Oh, any predictions? I don't know. I don't want to make any predictions right now because I think it's far too close. Seven minutes until the start of this. Um, I think monitors are going to be a big thing this year. I think monitors are going to be a massive thing. There's some good stuff out there, but with the advancements that we've had recently, I reckon we'll see a few, uh, few new monitor tech. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. In his eyes, I saw consolation, a longing for salvation. I'll never forgive Akira, my uncle and mentor. He erased my memories and kept the truth from me for so long. He cut my bond with the past and stood by while I murdered my own father. Uh, I think it's just a comic strip playing in the background. I can turn the volume up if you want, so you can hear it a little bit better. But so is Zaina Steinberger. From now on, the stage is mine. And my destiny is in my hands. Five minutes to go. Stephen, it's all going well. Thank you for asking. Some changes coming to that very, very soon. So stay tuned uh, for that. But we're starting to make a lot more room in the studio now, which is fantastic for this upcoming year, because this year is going to be massive. Some big things are coming. I cannot wait to show you. Cannot wait to show you. We're actually moving studio to a bigger area. Cannot wait to show you. But uh, it's all kind of happening, all kicking off. Uh, tech Reality there telling uh, your wife that you've won an iMac and a raffle. That is definitely not an excuse that I use at all. It's a good excuse. I'm going to drop this audio down. I'm going to pick up the audio from the Discord chat, the panel, from the other guys. So you're going to start to be able to hear their commentary as well as me discussing between them. So I'm not going to be able to answer too much to the chat. But if you've got any questions, do please pop it in chat and I'll try and answer it if I have some time. Uh, when's the January unboxing? There's a funny thing with that. I'm not editing January's unboxing. This is the first one that uh, I've actually got an editor to help me with. So stay tuned on that one. God knows what it'll look like. It'll turn my head green. At least it'll be on brand, I guess. Right, pulling in their audio now.
can you guys hear the audio that well from uh, the live event? Can you hear the audio? Or do you want me to turn it up a little bit? Simon Barrington, Stew Legend. No, Simon, you're the legend. Thank you very much for dropping by, bro. One minute to go until the stream starts. So we can start taking a look at what aces have got for us this year at CES, which I'm really excited about. First piece of CES content. More to come, obviously, over the next few days. But we'll see what's going to happen. Uh, Ryan, that is right. Background music at the moment. There's no other audio. The background music is actually coming from the stream. Here we go, guys. 51 seconds. Sam, you're thinking VR headset. You might not be wrong there. Live, go, go, go. Right then. Go live, Greg. Greg, go live. Hi there, and welcome to the Rise of Gamers launch event. My name is Mr. Greggles, and I am joined by a panel of tech and gaming enthusiasts to watch the event live as it happens. A very big welcome to guys, uh, and I'm sure you're excited to see the new range of ROG gear. Um, Looks like things are about to kick off, so yeah, let's watch this. Welcome everyone. Stu, Stallion, P Money. How are you guys? Doing good. Happy to be here, man. I am ah, good, this sir. Is, this is exciting. I, I've been really enjoying the graphics as this this kicked off. Hey X, welcome back. It's been quite a while. I heard about your latest assignment. So, I've given you several upgrades and the most up-to-date gear that will help you accomplish your mission. Ooh, peripheral. Wow. Mm. Where should we start? Ah, this one. I'm sure we are all aware of the classic style and extraordinary performance of ROG gaming headset. And today, I'm excited to introduce the ROG Fusion 2 500, our fully loaded gaming headset. It includes most of the key features of ROG Strict Fusion headset series, like its distinctive ear cup design and impressive audio performance. And today, the Fusion 2 500 takes it up a notch, offering immersive virtual 7.1 surround sound with high-res ESS9280 oh, nice. quad deck to deliver rich, true to life sound. Well. The Fusion 2 500 I mean, also works what around ASUS common doesn't. boom mic problems. <laughs> like I see a bit of RGB pickup, going on there as well. And bad really nice touch. Its hidden digital AI beamforming microphones feature nice. AI okay. noise cancellation technology for crystal clear communication. So no actual microphone. The mics microphone. create an acoustic zone, specifically wow. targeting your mouth 
to enhance your voice while suppressing noise from um. other directions. What's more, AI noise cancellation technology can reduce up yeah. to 95% of background noise. With the ROG Fusion 2 500, you will have the freedom of hidden mics. Yeah, amazing. And still enjoy Game changing for esports and stuff as well, right? Like. At the same time. You also won't yeah, have make to the worry about more. not hearing your teammates go out because the background I've music had is too so loud. Really badly the game chat the volume control side. allows you to adjust the balance between in-game audio and voice chats even in the middle of a fierce firefight. Just a quick scroll up on the chat volume and you nice. can hear teammates clearly. The ROG Fusion 2 series also includes the Fusion 2 300. It's similar to its bigger brother, just without the game chat volume control. Next up, we have the ROG Strix Fire 2 Animate, a gaming keyboard that not only enhances your gameplay, it also gives you an unmatched customization experience. Mm. It includes the enemy matrix LED display, which lets you show oh, custom on, that's awesome. animations. That's cool. As well as <laughs> audio visualizations. <laughs> just when you think it can get any more setting indicators, <laughs> innovative. Like like, numbers, look at your headset, Stanley. I know. It now does the now match. You can animate both. To give your gaming Everything flashes, RGB everywhere. It can also wow. be used oh, like the time to show laptop and the battery life. That yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. That's pretty sick. Time and date. The accompanying detachable wrist rest has a built-in light diffuser that glows when connected to the keyboard for stunning RGB uh, lighting. Come on, the design is Metal pretty good there. The yeah, that looks really the durable as well. Allows you to adjust volume or switch tracks easily. Wow. In okay, the, the media control. What? I, that, I was going to say, well, they're, they're separate. Songs with the Switch Player 2 anime no way. is powered by a high-speed I mean, I love USB using microcontroller media with keys, but the fact it's, it's got rate. its own dedicated one, short, it's not the function keys. It refreshes up to eight on the times keyboard. faster than most the, the, keyboards. Yeah, the fact that you can just press it forward and backwards to change tracks is game-changing for creators that listen to music. Response mm. Yeah. And moving on to the switches, the Strix Player 2 Animate welcomes you into the DIY keyboard scene oh, oh, oh. with oh, swappable good. switches for nice. all keys. So you can use your preferred switch type for a customized feel. The ROG NX mechanical switches me. that come as standard blue, yeah. blue, feature blue, yeah. premium ROG PBT double shot keycaps. These mid-high keycaps have shorter stems to reduce key wobble. They are also long lasting and resist key Look shock. Look at the light show in the top right. To top it off, the double shot molded just... keys allow the RGB lighting to shine that's so sick, man. Evenly. Yeah. I love the idea of a custom keyboard, incorporated but I really the ROG like switch stabilizer what for longer you get keys with, that greatly you know, reduces Asus's key so the yeah. fact that you can Compared fully customize one and you're not having to go and build one, it's giving like you it's best of both worlds. and stable keystrokes and the sound dampening form for improved keystroke acoustic. Let's take a closer look at oh, the video. Here we go. Roll the video, guys. Here. Yeah. Ooh. I used to love a promo video. Yeah. Oh, I used to do 3D modeling and animation, and this just makes me happy in all the right places. You must be fast for at the back as well, no? I'd be interested to see how fast the USB pass through is. Especially for having a key, uh, a mouse, sorry, or an external keyboard. What color switches do you guys normally use mainly? I mainly blue. Blue. Blue all the way. Nice cherry red. Blue all the way. Oh, what is it about blue? What? They're a bit, they're a bit clicky, aren't they? If you like they're the great. mechanical just, noise. It feels that's it for our G like an old typewriter. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also pleased to announce the very first ROG optical mouse sensor. Okay. The ROG now M4. we're talking. This new next level 36,000 36, CPI okay. sensor supports true polling rates up to an astounding 8,000 hertz to track every minute movement you make with more responsiveness That's and accuracy nice. than have oh, on the side as well. With this that, much one of those speed was a and accuracy, you will be more yeah, there's three than buttons, ready I think, on top of that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Upgrade, That's, no matter fire. how high the resolution or refresh rate. 8, Most importantly, hertz, we've surpassed expectations when it comes to CPI thousand. deviation. The industry Thousand. average is 3% yeah. deviation, but we've brought that down wow. to below 
one. It looks so good as well. And this brings a whole That is a nice looking mouse, actually. Yeah. That is a good looking mouse. It won't be long before you get to experience this sensor on ROG Chakra Max. as well is it doesn't look too The latest small. Chakra Max no. mouse includes I don't a new like detachable tiny joystick like design. That. And My offers up to 11 programmable functions. Like a, like a palm player, right? Where it's not like. You count squaring yeah, yeah. up and down. Claw and have to, it's perfect you know, for all game genres. Makes you feel uncomfortable when you're playing. FPS, that thumbstick on RPG, that is so. To real time like strategy that. games. And with that, I have I'm to. I'm assuming you can use now. that as another keyboard, it's right? It's an exciting time uh, for I, games. I need to see that, so how that works. The ROG Fusion 2 Series headsets, Strix Player 2 Series keyboards, and Chakra Max gaming mouse will be available on shelves soon. It seems we're almost there. Good luck with the mission. May is waiting for you on the launch bay. Yeah, everything going USB-C as well. Yeah. yeah. If I buy and all the three, do I get that case with it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the, the only thing he's wearing. <laughs> You're late. I didn't think you were going to make it. We're so sorry. Oh, we're here now, though. Here's all your gear you need. Come on. Let me show you. The year marks the 10th anniversary since we introduced the world's first 144 Hz gaming monitor. Don't wait. Yeah. What? With a decade's worth of knowledge in gaming like markers. We developed cutting edge innovations and broke new ground to satisfy the ever evolving needs of PC gamers, esports pros, console, and even mobile gamers. The OLED displays and TVs currently available do not truly cater to the needs of PC really gamers. Really are. If, we if brought we say like a thousand hertz or something, I'm going to cry. And today, we're pleased to introduce to you oh, the premium OG Swift OLED gaming monitors. Wow. Reflection and glare are the common flaws on standard Ooh, OLED, OLED displays. Well. And it's yeah. caused by reflectivity from a light source and specular Ooh. image. These affect the quality of colors you see and make it difficult to focus on what's happening I on screen. Really off by At ROG, we make sure Can our gaming markers feature anti-glare panels to cater to well. gamers' needs. Stand, right? I was just the say, latest yeah. ROG Swift OLED monitors use the new micro texture coding That's to it. reduce reflections, I'm rid of my TV. <laughs> so you can hone in <laughs> on that. Who needs a TV? Yeah, who needs one OLED those? markers <laughs> with micro texture coding show less reflection when compared to an OLED TV. When compared side by side with OLED TV, LG Swift OLED monitors offer more accurate okay, colors and less distractions on screen kind of for a better viewing experience. What's the, what's the max you can get right now? 360, is an issue right? For OLED 360 panels. on like yeah. laptops. And excessive heat can affect OLED burning and lifespan. I hear anything over more 400. More TVs I'll cap brightness cry. levels to keep operating temperatures around 60 degrees Celsius. Taking what we learn from the cooling systems of motherboards and graphic cards. We develop a unique thermal solution okay, for having custom to seriously think about an internal thermal a monitor, airflow yeah, layout for be optimal heat exchange to keep operating temperatures yeah, below 50 up, degrees Celsius and still yeah. heat the peak brightness of 900 needs. Unlike most HDMI 2.1 monitors currently on the market, oh, LG Swift OLED nice. monitors feature HDMI 2.1 connectivity with full 48 gigabits bandwidth <sighs> to support exceptional 4K 120Hz yeah. visuals without chroma assembling on the yep. latest gaming consoles. The monitors also include variable refresh rate technology That's amazing, for super been such a lack action for visuals console and other low latency mode yeah. for lack yeah. of gaming. Yeah, that's true. Lastly, that's very true, actually. the LG Swift OLED also, series the is available in 42 and 48 inch HDMI models. LG Swift PG42 EQ it's, it's is the world's first 42 HDMI inch OLED gaming monitor. Out, so it, or if you have more space on your desk, the 48 inch PG42 EQ would be perfect for you. changer for next gen consoles, right? Yeah. 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 Both moment, markers so. are factory pre-calibrated to industry-leading Delta E less than two color accuracy, and feature 98% DCI-P3 oh, gamut, true 10-bit color, color yes. and a blazing 0.1 millisecond response time. Perfect for latest fast-paced games at their and max awesome. settings. Good for graphics work. Last year, we gave professional esports gamers the PG259 QM, our first 1080p 360Hz gaming monitor, powered by NVIDIA G-Sync. It proved to be a hit I've used it. It and became amazing. the official display for 2021 Dota 2. I'm on 240 at the moment. I can't even imagine what the step up to 360 this must be like. Year, the industry has made bleed. a giant leap for yeah, I bet. <laughs> My current laptop with has high-end GPUs panel. now able to drive the first-person shooters in 4040p just... and at over 300 frames per second. Today, cool. in partnership with NVIDIA, 
we open a new chapter with the RG Swift 360Hz PG278QN eSports gaming monitor. It's a 27-inch 4040p resolution display with an overclock 360Hz refresh rate. <laughs> 360 hertz. No PG With this, you see your enemies display before they come around the corner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, it's the future. Wow. Average FPS 320 there. Yeah. Latency if you have an RG mouse with NVIDIA Reflex. What's most exciting for us is that it is the fastest display we've ever built in terms of response time in real-world use. We co-develop with AUO a leading gaming display panel manufacturer to develop ultra-fast IPS technology. Instead of using a regular IPS panel, we thought about its structure and the material of the liquid crystals and how we could use them to achieve a faster response time. Let's take a look at how an LCD panel Don't works. Need Here's a simplified structure of a single you pixel. You will get a new monitor. <laughs> it's made of a three main <laughs> element. The LED light, liquid crystals, the angel and the devil, and right? RGB Have you seen filter. my room? There really the is not enough room. By the LED I think I'm on 17 currently. The liquid you'll, crystals, you'll, you'll fit another one in there if you really need to. Start going up, you'll be fine. showcase colors. <laughs> They're already at the ceiling. <laughs> Go onto the ceiling. I was going to say, is there any on the ceiling though? What about outside the room? To create various colors. When the liquid crystals are in their natural state, they block light, so the screen is black. When voltage is applied, the liquid crystals switch to a 90 degree position and allow the light to go through, turning the entire screen turns white. The duration the liquid crystals take to switch from one position to another is the response time of the LCD panel. Wow. We develop a new liquid crystal with higher barrier frequencies and lower viscosity, <laughs> which is, switches and allows light just, to pass through. Lie, one of the best We've also changed the orientation of the like, liquid crystal. Like, yeah, I've never because. seen it laid with out this like this before. It's quite a good descriptive term of how it less works. Time to turn, making them faster than ever. Lastly, We've yeah, included I'm a dual layer voltage use. driver in the display. <laughs> yeah. Conventional displays only use a single layer voltage driver to drive the liquid crystals from the upper left to the bottom right corner. With the new dual layered voltage driver design, the liquid crystals switch from both corners simultaneously for a smoother, more consistent image. So there you have it, the entire RG monitor lineup. I'm oh, sure man, you're looking forward to our just... two new 42 sure. and 48 inch RG Swift OLED. Oh, that OLED market. one is awesome. Not I mean, even the other one, though, right? For like, I've got an Xbox in the other room. It's pro esports. <laughs> I can just take one of each right now. It's, it's so AQN. good. It's so good. I'm well, glad that's all we have that they're today. thinking about console well, games as well. Looking I think it's fantastic. And there's a big gap in the market for that at the moment. Huge. Huge gap in the market. It's not big, it's massive. Hey, on me. Can you show X the way to Sabrina? Yo! Hurry up! Get a move on! It seems that you will dematerialize during the transmission. How nice is her jacket, though? <laughs> it might be a bit small, small right? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should put a fly with you and see what happens. <laughs> anyway, bye boy! Oh, what Don't is that? listen to Omni, it's super safe. Let what me is that? It's a spaceship, it's a friend. That's, That's a retail. Wow, what the fuck? That has come from another planet. No way. Is it a light? Uh, that is the world first yeah. That's the first hugger if I ever saw it. Wow. <laughs> the ROG Raptor GTAXE 16000. We have unlocked the full potential of four bands. I don't think I've ever heard of a 6 gigahertz band on Wi-Fi. That looks incredible. With 160 megahertz channels, so users can achieve up to 16,000 megabit per second Wi-Fi speed. Normally you shove your routers underneath a cabinet somewhere, but that sort of thing you'll probably want to put that in a prime position in the studio. some European and Asian countries. The 6 GHz band provides more bandwidth and channels the point than the current Wi-Fi 6 standard. Like and most setup. importantly, <laughs> it will be dedicated to <laughs> Wi-Fi 6 standard. You're tempted to get it just for how it looks. Look at that. Our design goal for this router was to meet the main needs of advanced users, that is, flexibility wow. and capability. 
the exclusive Asus Air Okay, the AI mesh stuff, have you guys ever used it? No. No. I, I have to in create my house. It's a phenomenal. Whole home match Just system. With walk anywhere, get Wi-Fi anywhere on the same network. Wow. Yeah. devices don't With even know they're switching. Mesh network? If you haven't got a mesh users, network, you're doing it wrong. Wi-Fi 60 devices. Yeah. But the fact that this thing one of the five is dedicated towards gaming to and to allows you to do a mesh network, that's so incredible. The other three bands are free for device connection. That's some great on stuff to, hand, you know, speak you in the reviews. The See when you could game on a laptop and walk between zones. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. provide cleaner and faster transmission between two routers for an optimized mesh experience. GTAXE 16000 is powered by a next gen flagship Broadcom 2.0 GHz quad core 64 bit CPU and Wi Fi chipset. <laughs> it's a chipset. These improve throughput <laughs> chip. by 18% <laughs> compared to the previous generation for lightning fast data transfers, along with the exclusive ASUS RF technology and Range Boost Plus. In leverage, multiple upgraded ASUS features that improve. Wi-Fi signal range and overall coverage wow. by up to 38% compared to Wi-Fi 5 routers with our Range Boost Plus. Most high-performance routers use external antennas to get the best Wi-Fi coverage. However, for extreme performance, the router comes with four extra internal antennas and we've discovered the optimal arrangement of components so users can enjoy a cleaner and more stable Wi-Fi environment. For power users, we like understand you were saying, the need Greg, for, for on the move gaming around the house. And we further improve well, you know, the laptop, phone, where you can't constantly get internet connections, or if you have to move your console around and you can't get that. The wire, this is like, this is it, isn't it? Especially if you have several yeah. people in the house. I've got several yeah. places in my house that we've got consoles that, that we're not going to be able to run wires on that side. Yeah, really cut up the house. Finally, there's another yeah, carbon layer that changes the heat to infrared RF to significantly improve cooling efficiency. To give advanced users everything they need for fast and flexible connectivity, the router comes with two 10 gigabit LAN ports that provide extra bandwidth to heavy duty network devices such as the compatible NAS for desktop PC. Everyone on Twitch. Four one gigabit LAN ports <laughs> and, and two point five get gigabit get LAN ports that support the spaceships and everyone's setups now. <laughs> you, you just need a high speed <laughs> NAS now. Our <laughs> Ten gig connection. GTA Don't record to your local system. is built to cope with the massive amount of network data, and it's a perfect integration of software and hardware. It's ready for anything you need. Incredible Wi-Fi speed and network capacity are now more essential than ever. And that's exactly what the router is built for. Well, as well, if you're running right, a dual PC setup or everything. a triple PC setup like mm -hmm. your myself, and, and you've got to pass Citadel. anything over the network, you don't want your router crapping out. Especially no. using NDI yeah. or any protocols that yeah. are, are over a network that rely on latency. Like That is something that... But like we're about to watch a campaign of a game. The thing I is, know, that router right? is that router is so future proof as well. Here we are, X. Welcome yeah. to the Citadel. You might get a chance to meet Go. He's on the way back here as we speak. It's a good investment but rather than just a. Time a before that. Let me tell you why we ask you here today. This millennium belongs to the gamers. Once we were just a small group of enthusiasts, but now gaming is as ubiquitous as movie, music, and every other element of That's modern lifestyle. So true. We're young, old professionals, creative parents, and everything in between. I don't think their merch gets enough love, honestly. These jackets are so nice. At the They're also their comfy. I mean, no, no, it looks as well. Yeah, no, I've got them on as well. Be. I need to get one of these like, coach jackets. So price. nice. And this year, we've done it again. Where's oh, Saturday? look at that. Really um, special <laughs> layout for is that animated on the back of yeah, the Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that is so good. This year, the stars have a line and the entire industry is leaping forward. We have a new operating system in Windows 11. Intel has released their brand new 12th gen Intel Core processors, while AMD has new Ryzen 6000 series processors. And the NVIDIA GeForce wow. RTX 3080 Ti is available wow. in laptops for the first time ever. In other words, there has better never been a PC. better time to say to get that in their PCs, now right? Now let's take a look at how these new silicon functions in our high-performance, brand-new RG Strix series. 
So Besides sorry, Stallion, you just finished building your PC and you have no, to go and get a laptop. The brand new oh, RG Star can be beat. This machine is an eSport champion with enough power to fuel victory after victory. The top spec sports a 12th gen Intel Core i9-12900H processor and an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti laptop GPU which runs at up to 150 watts with dynamic boost. Allowing the 2022 Street Guard to keep up with you Jeez. in even the most demanding firefights. And with the included mouse switch, you can make sure you get every possible frame out of that GPU. Complementing the new Intel 12th gen processors, we offer up to 64 no GB DDR5? of fast DDR5 oh, memory, that's which can be awesome. right faster yeah. in, in a laptop benchmarks when compared to last gen DDR4. We didn't want to leave wow. a shred of performance on the DDR5 table. DDR5 laptops. We've also so far upgraded the Street Star to use the latest conductional extreme liquid metal solution from Thermal Grizzly. This lowers the CPU temperature by up to 15 degrees Celsius compared to traditional pastes, allowing it to sustain peak performance for much longer during demanding workloads. So one thing with laptops, I'm always Here's worried a quick it's word from too Roman hot and Thermal Grizzly about yeah. this amazing thermal interface material. Hi, my name is Roman and I'm one of the CEOs from Thermal Grizzly. About two years ago, Asus ROG approached us for liquid metal application in notebooks. While Thermal Grizzly had a lot of experience with dealing with liquid metal in desktop units, we only had very limited experience on dealing with this in mobile devices such as notebooks. So we teamed up with Asus ROG to make sure we can provide the best performance for the end user. Early 2021, Asus ROG reached out to us again because they were looking for an even better version of the conductor note liquid metal. So we teamed up again with the Asus ROG engineers who are very experienced in the mass production meanwhile with liquid metal and we developed conductor note extreme which has about 20% improved thermal conductivity over the original conductor note. Thermal Grizzly is very happy and proud to be part of the new Asus ROG family of notebooks and I'm sure together we can provide the best thermal solutions possible. Wow. Thank you, Roman. This new solution is another big step forward. I want to get a load of machines. different laptops and we're now so excited from Asus to work with the last couple of years in a room endeavor. and I want a the thermal RG camera. I think we, the we demand G for yeah, five powerful. each. With the top spec features on the AMD obvious. Ryzen 9 oh, in a 100HX processor and an Can't NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti that's laptop it. GPU. DDR5 RAM. Now, a powerful GPU Lamp. and that's a GPU party with your laptop. That's insane. The only critical that green one looks victory. awesome. In fast-paced titles, yeah. the high refresh hey, rate ensures that, that router, you can strike an enemy smoothly, even when the action is happening. You've got a lamp party right there, right? At the level. Available with both 15 and 17-inch screens, the 2022 Strix series has multiple high refresh rate most gaming options, monitors now, ain't it? Including QHD 240 Hz and an ultra fast 360 Hz panel. All these Ooh. IPS panels feature Dolby Vision support and adaptive screen for a punchy, detailed image without so tearing or stuttering. The latest Strix models are designed to stand out from the crowd too. The Strix Guard's interchangeable armor caps add an additional accent to the frame of your machine that you can change what? to I need this laptop, style. man. <laughs> we even support 3D printing your own custom armor caps to make your scar okay, really one of the kind. I don't know about you guys, but I've just added to cart. Or as a support for the Illuminati <laughs> light bars, RGBT Pro, Pro, custom branded. Oh, look at that, that's honestly, incredible. Honestly, synchronizes the machine to shine even brighter. Our translucent palm rest area allows a peek into the machine without losing any structural rigidity. And our redesigned rubber feet, ASUS UK's inbox tomorrow, ensuring a stable typing. Hi, how are you? Strix G users can choose a subtle eclipse spray color scheme. I love these color schemes. They're so hard. Vault green. That is right on my screen. Allowing you to express the visuality on and off the battlefield. Look at that. Look at that. No matter what game you need to play. It genuinely looks cool, man. I know. You'd be proud to have that in public, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Most powerful components. We've ever An put Asus, into a series dual, of laptops. Uh, dual screen but laptop that we came want out our device to be now. best in class. Without All of the cases design, are metal. Especially not the ultra portable form factor that earn our so separate feel good. so many awards. We want to thank the media and our fans the for all your support and trust wow. these years. We know expectations are high for 2022. And we delivered. 
for new models in this year's Zephyrs and Flow families, we've expanded all display to a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. This isn't as easy as it sounds. If you make the display larger, you make the entire laptop larger, which goes against the portability inherent to the Zephyrus That's the, DNA. Uh, I have the Zephyrus. So we debated a number of solutions, but they require adding box to the chassis or compromising screen to body ratio with a large bezel on the button. We weren't content with these half measures. So our engineers pushed the form factor to the limit, completely overhauling the internal layout. We squeezed every single inch of our mainboard into a design that Look incorporates that. our algorithm hinge. Look, it's stand, this isn't it? allows us to that's shrink that's quite the clever. bezels yeah, even that's that's quite clever. Keeping the footprint clever. small. Again, oh, look at that! Look at that! percent <laughs> more capacitors <laughs> on the same size mainboard. And despite being more crowded inside the chassis, we didn't have to sacrifice cooling either. That's because our laptops this use some, like, a comprehensive cooling, in this. cooling yeah. solution Imagine, built like, water from the ground up <laughs> for our machines. We call it algae <laughs> intelligent cooling. From as the chassis never design drop your laptop. to fan charge and custom heating, our intelligent cooling one, is a series of improvements that work together to provide gamers with the lowest temperature possible, or without sacrificing acoustics. Our latest Arco fans use variable thickness blades, which are only 0.1 mm at their thinnest point, to improve airflow while reducing turbulence and lowering love, noise levels. It's On the Cypress Duo, this plus 2.0 yeah. opens it, part of the, the chassis for increased airflow. And on certain models, much, a like custom say, vapor chamber keeps the machine cool there. by allowing heat to dissipate along a larger surface, drawing it away from the CPU it's GPU insane what they're and the power regulation circuitry. This custom yeah. approach you allows about five us years. to keep the chassis small you know, without sacrificing the thermal. It's unbelievable how far we've come. We're also now, using right? like liquid metal across all than our some entire lineup, you get. which reduces the CPU yeah. yeah. right. for yeah. higher yeah. system performance. That thing has this its own cooling system. Aren't just I've cool. They are quite too. Phenomenal. We're gamers ourselves, so we know that sometimes you just want to keep back with the movie without your fans disturbing the peace. For lighter workloads, when your CPU temperature are under 50 degrees Celsius, RG zero decibel technology will turn the fans off yeah. completely for that's truly right. silent that's, relaxation. That's right. The fans right. will only like, kick in yeah. when yeah, you need them. Cool. And with the armor armor software Creek profiles, you decide the ideal balance for yeah, performance really and good. acoustics. Taken as a complete system, our generation cool provides well. more thermal headroom for the best gaming experience possible. These machines are seriously cool and surprisingly quiet. Next, we have a truly special innovation to show off. RG has a history of display leadership. We brought the first 120 and 144Hz laptop displays to gamers. And today, oh, we are man. raising the bar again with the new class of laptop gaming panels. We call them RG Nebula displays. And we, we needed go. them to fit the most <laughs> crucial criteria for gaming. Fast, bright, and vivid. All RG Nebula displays require 100% coverage everyone in my chat the saying slightly regretting that new PC buy right now. 500 nits of the <laughs> Oh training. man, look at these High laptops. Got a couple of people in my wow. chat. a response time well. of 3 milliseconds or less. Well, about that. They're pen validated laptop. with Dolby Vision support, guaranteeing you see the content exactly as the creator intended. They've also received two certification for their low blue light and flicker reduction. Okay, so flicker, These flicker are and blue, blue light, displays. especially flicker sets in up addition, my really addition, every bad. RG laptop mm. in our 2020 like blue lineup comes equipped with so a these are for. switch, allowing your GPU to bypass the integrated graphics for reduced latency and a performance boost blue of light 9% on glasses. average. Some titles even see improvements wow. as high as 31%. 31%. When every frame counts, you can count on ROG. The Severus line is the first to feature our new Nebula displays, starting with the 2022 brand new ROG Severus G14. Oh, please tell me that the moves G14 on the back. Has oh, did you see that? It's it's fully it animated. Definitely and we knew what I was thinking. Look at that. For the 2022 you can also put model. in your own so custom designs. So we completely oh, redefined it to push so the even further. We packed in more performance. 
it's, it's just one of those little things. It's the little things, right? Adding an IR webcam I didn't even joke, made bro. the enemy matrix even, know I even more eye well, catching. So many or people put so much effort into the their total package. Thanks yeah. to you know, how they compact, look, you know, as streamers, we do that. Just body yeah. the fact yeah. that you can have a laptop that if you you the previous proud to have on your desk, desk yeah. wait time to hide until away, you get like, your hands on this year's model. Yep. This is the new standard Advertise for compact gaming channel, laptops. your links, whatever. This highly mobile, high-performance machine QR is powered code. by mm. AMD Ryzen 9 processor and wow. Radeon RX 6800S laptop GPU with a Mac Switch. It's ready to render frames in all of the latest games. In order to keep all of that power under control, the Cypress G14 is equipped with all of our intelligent core enhancements, plus a redesigned vapor chamber that covers 48.2% of the mainboard. That's about 50% more contact with system components Keeping it cool, than right, once it's... to standard heat pipe solution. Mm, yeah. Improving heat true. transfer yeah. on the CPU, GPU, and VRM. This allows the G14 to remain cool well, under all conditions. Lot. Improving its issues, GPU thermal capacity from 65 watts to 100 so. watts without sacrificing any of the portability of its 14 inch form factor. That is so Our iconic that is just the coolest thing about it. system on the back of the wow. I think the design is so sick, man. Yeah. On a 2022 G14 with a more slick design. I with want 14, loads of those laptops up, sync to my holes, drum kit. This year's anime matrix <laughs> is even higher than the Can you customize every single part of that? Yeah, yeah you can. You can pixel map yourself in the software. That's the, the incredible. Is a more refined That's crazy. For all those I want to build a light show with those laptops. That's Whether it. That's what I'm emailing people about tomorrow. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It responds to your music. Or so you can have your own from there. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I just have a whiskey glass uh, oh, in the background. God. And you can see it automatically in our Army Crate software. This year's G14 also brings no. a full load of mini can... games to your desktop. <laughs> oh, you can put mini games on the back of the desktop. My outbox is just crazy. That is sick. That's so good. Omni made a return to build virtual companions. I would like to point out the irony of the fact that they've just spoken extensively about their new monitors, and we're like, nah, screw that. The back of the laptop where I want to be. Yeah, forget the main panel. I want the I want the back of the panel. <laughs> That's so cool. Wow. Do you want the back of a laptop? Let's Honestly, go. I love it. Come on, chat. That's pretty cool. Okay. I like the design Very a lot cool. more. I own one of these. these. Oh, they've got a 16 inch. Like I've got show the 15. The new I'm feeling up. It's a DJ day. Sustain, standing as the flagship of our lineup. They are incredible. The series stretches it looks the boundaries it. of what is possible gaming, in a you can mobile have your chat on the bottom screen. I've tried one actually. That's, 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 that's a screen there? That is a second, second screen. What? I didn't even know this existed. It's also a touch screen. Now that's mad. That's, that's crazy. What? So it's like it's like a tablet built to a laptop. To a Yeah, but it's, it, you can just drag this things up and down as if you have a second screen. You don't wow, want that's cool. Oh, can you now? Now that is pretty cool. If you can drag stuff, if you can drag stuff between the screens. Yeah, it's it's just like you've got a second screen on a desktop. Wow. Minority report. That's cool. I like that. It's amazing. Uh, that's quite useful. That's amazing. Not only lift. Upward, if you've got a game or something where you need a secondary or a set of you're sliders, editing, eliminating the gap between panels. Well, just this, being is a, able to uh, this, this is a is streaming gamer on the moves dream, right? You've got Twitch mail, chat, yeah. you've got, yeah, yeah, you got everything that, you need right there. Like, yeah. That's why I bought mine originally, but this just yeah. takes it to a whole new level. We were able to achieve this in part thanks to incredibly thin bezels, which eliminate even more wasted space. In addition, they allow us to fit a 16-inch 16 by 10 display into a chassis typical of a 15 inch laptop. The max out version of this machine features an AMD Ooh. Ryzen 9 6980 wow. HX processor and there it is again. Nvidia GeForce RTX 3080 Ti <laughs> laptop GPU running at 150 watts with dynamic boost. You also get a mock switch. Four, four terabytes. Gen 4 SSD storage <laughs> with Ray Zero. What? 64 gig DDR5. Oh, what? In that? In that, in that size? <laughs> what is going on? That Where is he putting it? Speed <laughs> and in everything that you're doing with it. The AS Plus 2.0 rising mechanism also provides more room for airflow 
keeping the machine cooler. For it's gonna need it because that thing is oh, a powerhouse. It also but has its, yeah. display it has its speakers really behind that year, fold up screen. Wow. Oh, no, that is mini quite a good HDR idea. That's with mini LED technology. Yeah. We call it RG Nebula HDR. And like our standard Nebula display, it boasts 100% DCI-P3 coverage and a three millisecond response time. Mm. But this QHD 165Hz panel has an eye-watering peak brightness of 1,100 nits for an out-of-this-world HDR experience. Certified by VESA as Display HDR 1000, this mini-LED panel is powered by AUO's MLA technology with 512 separate They can only spoil zones. me so much. The <laughs> Nebula HDR engine raises the bar At what point 5, does it become insanity, right? Rates, which is <laughs> I think we're getting there. more than typical displays. The RG team further refined the local dimming algorithm by painstakingly I profiling images laptop. and I videos to adjust <laughs> how they appear on the screen. When you watch a movie or play a game on this display, the Nebula HDR engine processes 250 images per second to wow. reduce the halo effect by 26%. Uh, that's for impressive. deep blacks and staggering contrast for an image that pops right off the screen. RG's they display say leadership is, does not stop on the here move either. Have yeah. you ever wished you could have 4K and 240Hz? I, can't, I just can't get over that middle panel. That's like, but neither can I. I. I need something like this. RG exclusive display on the oh man, viewers. for music that production or something like that. Yeah, yeah just yeah. on the Developed go at top quality. It's just everything you need there, ain't it? This display comes with native resolution of 4K with the 120Hz refresh rate. 4K? Perfect for truly immersive open world wow. and role playing games. I mean, the come on, matters that's above all incredible, else, like really, in that size. First person shooters, you can choose to switch, switch to 240. 240 hertz refresh rate at which the using a simple switch. Oh, that is good. Software. <laughs> the Armory Crate software, I cannot <laughs> like, stress enough how well technology they've, will scale they've improved the entire the, Twitch, the image oh, so good. using four physical pixels for every one digital pixel for a clean, ultra fast image. Finally, you can have the best of both worlds on the same machine. Not only is the several still Might as well sell my PC together, and monitor. But <laughs> Mate, I'm thinking this straight down. I just yeah, might as well. Look at this. Oh, 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 Photoshop oh, on my laptop oh, if you're oh, creative. Okay, right. is, no matter that is what quite you're doing, <laughs> this machine is the complete package. Two screens, zero boundaries. All our 2022 laptops come with Windows 11 out of the box complete the latest and greatest PC gaming technologies. The rest storage allows oh, for also, faster load times cool little and thing more I don't detailed think game worlds. While you haven't got a number HDR pad, right? More vivid, There's actually a button at the top of the trackpad where if you hold it down, it turns, it turns the trackpad In addition, into a number pad. All RG wow. devices are perfect That's for crazy. Xbox Game Pass, Sold. which allows you to play Sold. over 100 <laughs> high quality games with a single At this point, I'm trying to tell myself why I don't need it rather than oh, yeah. Alongside general defined titles <laughs> like Forza Horizon 5, plus even more games through EA Play. You can even stream games directly to your <laughs> machine. That's UK in my chat. Xbox I shall expect gaming. some messages in the morning. And there's one device <laughs> in particular that's perfect for this play anywhere mentality. Oh yeah, he's in here as well. Stanley gonna try and take over Rog. You know it. No, that that's it. We need we that need invoice is coming. More four of us. I'm telling you now. Hundred percent. Ace is using in trouble. We need Stanley and gaming. P money, you do the music. I'll drum to it and do the light show. And Stu, you can stand there and commentate and make it look glorious. Yep, that sounds beautiful. <laughs> I'm doing. What is this? Is this a case? Another laptop? This is going to be just another thing to the invoice. In 2020, <laughs> we launched the impressively portable Zephyrus G14, bringing a 14 inch gaming laptop to the market in an ultra light form factor. Then in 2021, we launched an ultra versatile gaming twin one, the RG Flow X13, oh, in a yeah, super yeah. slim 13 inch chassis. This year, we're expanding the Flow family what is that? to the brand new product, the oh, RG Flow wow. Z13. It's like a... The RG Flow Z13 is the world's most it's powerful like gaming tablet. <laughs> Tap top. Shattering previous notions of what the world thought possible with this form factor. We didn't want to sacrifice anything. 
we wanted a 13-inch tablet that offered enough ports for accessories while still including the latest and greatest in edge-level processor design, great cooling, and extensive battery life. So we CNC milled a chassis designed specifically for cutting-edge hardware and a beautiful 16x10 display with a futuristic look that is match. Gorgeous. Bro, what is, what is happening here? What? What is happening have a, a mobile graphics. graphics card to a tablet? The Pro Z13 is designed with ultimate versatility in mind. One device, infinite what? place. Use a mouse and oh, keyboard like actually a traditional mad. PC. Yeah. Play touch-based games on the go or prop it on a table with a gamepad for a portable console experience. Inside this ultra-compact device, Look at that back, looks incredible. Wow. They've done a good job on the backs of devices this year. Yeah. The design-wise, a match. Incredible. Unreal. And up to one terabyte of SSD it looks like something you see out of them, you know, the That's action movies. For yeah. A 13-inch tablet, and it easily Pack competes I mean, with yeah. the gaming Just... chops of other larger machines. Inspired by the ROG mothership, the Z13 has moved its powerful component from the keyboard deck to behind the screen. This means that the natural orientation of the device allows for access to more fresh air than That's, traditional yeah. gaming designs, decreasing the overall you also temperature. You don't want to be deal, right? Like, that's a lot. Celsius. You don't want to be holding a Inside, tablet and hot air coming out on your hand. That yeah, yeah, that's true. More contact with system components, improving heat transfer from the CPU, GPU, and VRM compared to standard heat pipe designs. Combined with thermal grizzly liquid metal and RG intelligent USB -C cooling, as well. the Z13 is it, it able to just stay like a, cool and even and operate laptop, like, in zero decibel mode yeah, during I mean, come on. tasks. At this point, when the fans ran up, you, just, you, can't, you, can't, you can't wonder which one you'd rather get right between a tablet and a laptop. I'm not going to lie. Imagine having that thing with a USB-C webcam or camera yeah. noise. attached to mm. it. Following the footsteps Walking around of last year's Pro X13, streaming the Z13 well, again, for like people like P, right? Yeah, I'm sure you're always out yeah. Yeah. doing stuff as well. This kind of stuff's so ideal. Yeah, I'm 100%. Yeah, I could take that on tour or studio or anything. That'd be wicked. Gaming, Wait, 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 what? And your daily web browsing. Oh, I a thought they hooked it into a PC then. I was about to cry with excitement. ensures that you will excitement. always have an excellent viewing experience, whether you're sitting at a desk or kicking yeah, back on the couch. No, it's really cool, man. The of our nice Pro Z13 comes with a 12th gen Intel. Yeah, it has really a better like graphics card than most. As well, have they? Like, this is all just like fully like top-end. And one and tablet of storage, it will retail for eighteen ninety nine dollars, which is a tremendous value for the power pack within this That's revolutionary format. That's not bad, is it really, for a tablet with that sort of As power? As a standalone unit, the you'd Pro be lucky to get the graphics card for that these days. That's, yeah, and yeah. Factor. There are, however, situations where you might need just a little more horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> the Pro Z13 also supports the XG Mobile, which adds this the is, power this blows my of an external mind. graphics card, multi-port I/O, and power delivery to this compact machine. That's Once connected cable. over PCIe oh. port, you can add an external display, additional USB devices, or even an Ethernet cable. Turning this like I know there's a lot of people who say, oh, just get a laptop, but station. there are people who don't want a laptop. Yeah. Yeah. No. The SG Mobile is now a full series <coughs> of products with a brand new companion SG Mobile available in 2022. The latest model includes a new copper vapor chamber with 20% more surface area than the, the thing is, people generation, use their mobile device, devices now for gaming more than ever. So if you've got something like this with the capabilities power, of playing Top if end you need the mobility stuff, of you know, the one with the power of yeah, a you're not limited to something the off the Google Play, Play Store, for example. To the no, dear. We're incredibly excited to start 2022 with so many exciting new products, from the mighty Surface Duo to the ultra portable Surface G14, the new groundbreaking Pro Z13, and the upgraded Street Guard. Again, I really the like those laptops. Yeah, We're the green and the pink. We're continuing to redefine what portable Little gaming can be. Blah. We've also refreshed the Cephas G15 and M16, along with the Flow X13 and XG Mobile, with the latest processors and graphics chips from Intel, AMD, and NVIDIA. No matter what type of device you need, ROG is ready to arm the next generation of gamers. And it doesn't end there. With so many portable devices- Oh, this is gonna sell us what he started with today. To be able to travel with them comfortably, 
So RG is introducing nice. bags in our Archer yep. series. Sort of everything. From the small like, they're like, they're like gym bags the for gamers. The mid range backpack. They've made everything look cool. Like high yeah. capacity backpack 17 and weekender 17. The Arch Archer series is ready to carry your gear wherever you go. That bottom left one. They are minimalist design Archer Weekender Archer elements, but ensures the bags are befitting it's for any scenario. Well. I'm not gonna lie, if you Built were... Built with durable, oh, we're going water to a land party. material... I don't that on my back, that's it. That's component. all I take. Right. That's it, yeah. Now everybody else just leaves. Archer family packs <laughs> are rush already. <laughs> Or with events. So many so imagine, you know, you, you go to like There's EGX with your mates. Time like me and you, Stallion, we were there obviously now. this year. Yeah. Like, Here are all two the of those on our back. Right, let's go and sit friend. in where we get yeah, Wi-Fi and game. Like, You're a walk and advertisement as well, aren't you? Okay. Yeah. I hope your mission is a success. Wow, that's so luck. sick, man. That was, that was fire. That's sick. That was... Wow, did you see that? I think that's ghost ship under attack. X. He needs your help. Hurry! Go! 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 Cheshire, this is Go. Need access I to also really appreciate Go how much work they put into this graphic. Wait, this is where they're going to blow our minds and tell us that they're developing a game as well. <laughs> just, just this is where it's just game over for everybody. Commencing warp sequence. Activating warp in five, four, three. One. That's it. New Asus drone. Confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is like a mini game. On Steam? Nice. What? There you go. You heard it there first. Oh, well, there you are. Bro. Asus mini oh, look game at this. on Steam. What? No. Asus Rocky I, I came by chat. No comment. Here we are. What? Didn't they start with something similar to this in CES 21? They did. I mean, like it, was, a, it was a matter of time. I have really. an action figure from a previous event that they sent me. Wow. Hi, right, look at that. Oh. They smashed it, man. <laughs> it's just, yeah. 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 <laughs> That was freaking insane. Wow. Talk about blowing out expectations and raising the bar and Some what was also keep into like the Aces standard that everybody knows them for, right? They just set the bar, but then kept it true to who they always yeah. are. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, so, right. Let's, let's get down to nitty gritty. Out of everything that you guys have seen. Oh, man. You know, my hostly duties here. <laughs> what excited you the most? Oh. I know, it's hard. Should, should I go first? Should I go first? Yeah, go first. Yeah. Yeah, I, go on, I, I love the tablets. I think the tablets are cracking. I mean, the, the power that they're now packing in those things. And it is what I said. I think that mobile gaming has, uh, you know, grown vastly in the past mm. five years. You know, you've got even things like uh, COD Mobile, which looks probably better than some of the, the, the COD games actually on consoles and on PC at the moment. But yeah. being able to actually play high-end games and not be restricted as you say to those apps in app stores that's pretty cool that's pretty cool but still being that mobile form factor i think that's yeah i you know just to say this i actually agree on the tablet i think out of everything i own i have a i have multiple desktops i have a laptop you know and i don't really have a tablet that i could you know I, I've been like, oh, I could actually use that. It would just be, oh, I'm getting a tablet for having a tablet's sake. That with the portability and how much you could do with it, I could see myself using it at events to video edit, you know, and just use it on the go and not have to feel I'm whacking out a laptop every time, which I'm then mm. having to put away. Yeah. What about what about you, Stellion? I as soon as I saw the the laptop with the the flip up portable screen underneath it i just yeah i mean it makes me want to get creative in industries that i i'm not even in you know it just makes you think oh you know what what could i what, 
what can I what can <laughs> I do with this? Where where can I take this? Where can I stream from with this? You know, you get them you get certain people in their own industries that do out of, you know, out of the box kind of projects and stuff and they go out in the crazy areas and do, you know, either music shoots or, you know, design shows or whatever. Imagine that's you could do literally the same thing but with streaming and content creation there. You got you've got your chat right in front of you. Like you said, it's all like um, touch screen, you can flip up, push down whatever it is that you need. And it runs top end games as well. You haven't got to compromise anything. It's it's yeah. like an entrepreneur meets professional gamer on the moves dream. So definitely one of their gaming laptops. Yeah. And what about you, P Money? Yeah, the gaming laptops, man. Mm. The gaming laptops. <laughs> Do you know what it is for me? <laughs> it's it's the it's the design. Like the, most of the laptops I've seen are quite big, chunky. You know what they are straight away. Where this one, you have to look at it and be like, wow, what's that? Do you know what I mean? The design on the back, it will catch anyone's attention. And they seem smaller than near enough all the laptops with so much power. I mean, it's got a better graphics card than my PC. Well, it's, it's like... Also, I think not necessarily... Because the screen size, as I was saying, the screen size yeah. contributes to how big a laptop is. And yes, you've got the Zephyrus Duo, which is the dual screens, which again, like I say, I own, own the older version. That 16-inch just... Mwah, amazing but it's how thin they are yeah mm. you're not feeling like you're taking a small brick out of your bag yeah yeah it's thin it's sleek and like you said the the customization and animation on the back is it's crazy oh uh, yeah the level of customization you gotta love it so i have a question here which you know has been given to me by azus and they say will you be hoping to upgrade your setups with anything <laughs> you've seen today is there something you know is it the thing we've just talked about that really took you or is there anything else that you're like you know what i want to go out and buy that tomorrow uh well, the monitors the monitors oh come on the monitors were incredible right and the versatile the fact that the as well as hertz yeah i, I mean yeah. come on <sighs> hold on Stu, is this a is this a trick question that whatever we pick yeah, that's, that's what they, they give us. You know us. what I mean? Like, uh, everything, <laughs> everything. Yeah, everyone just say everything. Uh, yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. All of them, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> everything below, please. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, I, I, for me, 100% monitors. And for me personally, headphones. I've been looking for headphones. And I, I, I love the design of those. And I like what the... Uh, my my thing is about the mic as well. I don't. Sometimes I might not want to use if I'm just gaming. I might not want to use the mic I'm using now. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I, that was that was a big bonus for me. Yeah. The the AI technology meaning that it's picking up your voice. You're not having to have something clunky. As I'd said yeah. at the very start, you know, headsets with mics built in that you know there's quite a few that don't come off. It weights it on my head. Yeah. And it ends yeah. up you know annoying the other ear. I. You don't have to worry about it. It's it just works. And also, there were a couple of people who commented it on it in my chat were saying the fact it has actual buttons for adjusting the volume and on the headset. You know, it's yeah. just a yeah. reach up and click. Yeah. And speaking of buttons as well, the keyboard. Yeah, I still can't get over the media keys. I mean, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that yeah. was pretty cool. I, you know, current keyboards. I've got the, the the Claymore two here, and you have to press function and then an F an F key to control your media. Which you know, nothing bad with that. Mm. I'm fine with it. But the fact that it's just a little switch on the side, I can have my hand rested on. Or if I'm streaming or gaming and I want to change the music, it's it's not having to do a key combination. It's just click done back to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then not even to mention the the, the spaceship router that gives you complete gaming capability across the house multiple parties wi-fi devices just covers everything don't it for all the products that they advertise today to run at the best uh best internet speeds anywhere in the house so yeah yeah it's i could see especially with the tablets the router and the wi-fi the thing is, I'm not going to be able to hide that as easily from my wife. I think she'll notice that. <laughs> I, I want it in a raffle. I definitely want it in a raffle, I promise. Turn it upside down, put some googly eyes on it. <laughs> it ornamental like spider. spider. <laughs> it's so cool. It is, it is an aggressive looking it product. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. I love it. I think it looks great. I think that's a good way to describe it as well. I think they have gone aggressive with their products on this one. They've, they're really not like held back have they with no. you know we all know them for their rgbs and stuff but they've really just set 
a different standard on on this drop. So I think it, they have been aggressive. I time. think they also set their own design standard. There's yeah. a lot of products out there that try and really coast in the middle of the road look to try and cater for everyone, where they've just been like, now nah, we know what we're going for. We we've allowed personalization, but we've got this sleek look that we're sticking with. And mm -hmm. it suits it suits Zeus, it suits the people who use their products. It yeah. And then finally, we've obviously talked about the uh, tablet quite a bit. Are you guys interested, you know, a question I have here, are you guys interested about learning about the tablet's power? Like I am immediately. I'd get my hands on one tomorrow if I could. But is there something that you guys think it could achieve or you're wondering whether it could achieve for what you guys are doing? Um, I think from, from something that I've seen at EGX as well, I think for streamers that want to have um they're especially stuff like i know it's quite a simple function but like a, you know like a chat monitor or to have something as a, a secondary option but not have to use uh, a monitor on a mount or just something at the side of whatever it is that you're doing that's there as that option mm. but then also obviously gives you the option to make it as your main device as well at the same time so again if you're on the move or for whatever reason you can't stream um from the pc you've got that handheld device there so it's kind of multi-function really and again, the specs don't don't let us down at all. And I think having something like that, definitely, like I'd always learn to see. I'd be interested to see on its stress test and what I can really pull on, like the, you know, the, the big franchises at high graphics and yeah. seeing the frames that it could pull versus yeah. you know your typical gaming desktop these days. I'd love to see at the next convention, uh, you know, a, a setup with several of those. And people just being able to to come play games on them, you know, us yeah. get some other content creators, all four of us and, and others on it, and and just changing the perception, I guess, of what's possible on small form factor. Oh, ah, yeah. well, they're certainly doing it. They're certainly yeah. doing it. Uh, you know, I I think it's amazing. I do think it's amazing. I think that is the future. Mark my words. In five years' time, we'll have an event like this with tablets all over. That's it. Running high-end top-end gaming you know because we're sitting here looking at now the laptops that they're doing which are incredible and they're fitting some amazing tech into it as you say that's better than some of your home home built pcs mm -hmm. you know five ten years time i reckon that'll be in tablets as well yeah yeah i agree i agree yeah it's it's gonna be interesting as well what they bring out to do with ddr5 mm. The fact that all those laptops had DDR5 in, um, just future proofing. You'd said that's due about the router as well. Yeah. All of these products today, from my personal opinion, are future proofed for a good amount of time, not just like a year or two. It's like you, I could see me using a, one of those laptops for the next five years or so, um, and and it's Easy. still being relevant and powerful as a content creator. Yeah. I think it also begs the question as well, though, as probably what we ask ourselves every time we go to an ASUS event is, how 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 does it get better from here? Where where do we, yeah. you know, where yeah, where, where do, do we go, go from here? And we think every time we think, ah, it, surely it can't get much better than the range they've already got. And then they do this, and they're just like, well, here we are again. You know, stepped it up. They so pulled it out of the bag. Yeah, they really did. I I think you you know that is a, a staple of watching these events now from these guys is that you're always going to get a surprise. You're always going to be surprised. I yeah. never watch one of these and think, oh, you know, every single time I watch it, I thought, Jesus, what? Yeah. <laughs> wow, <laughs> you know. <laughs> this is this is my third tech event for a Asus watching, and I totally agree. There's never been a time where I've gone, oh, they had that last last time. Hmm. They, oh, it's the same thing. No, it's they step up the game, and I think they really lead the industry in and mm. this sort of stuff and and also they listen to what people want which makes the difference but yeah mm. well then everyone i i think that's all we've got time for um we've seen some incredible tech and i'm really excited for everything coming in 2022 um a big year for rise of the gamers and thank you to to you three for being on here Stu, stallion p money it's been a pleasure chatting with you guys and watching that with you all um, and then again, for everybody watching at home, let us know what you thought. Leave us some comments. And um, yeah, 
we'll we'll see you in the next event. But thank you so much, guys. And thank you for hosting. Pleasure. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. See you later, everyone. Well, there we go. There we go. That was the first, first CES live stream with the panel. I don't know if you guys enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the chat. I'm going to be finishing up real soon uh, just so I can send these guys a message as well and go and have a chat with them. Uh, but that was some pretty cool stuff. Genuinely, I'm so excited with a couple of those things. The monitors, I said right at the beginning of that then, the monitors are awesome. Absolutely incredible. And I'm really genuinely looking forward to trying them out. But that is all from me. Let me know what you thought. And I'll see you back very, very soon. If you enjoyed this live stream stuff, I'll do more of them. If not, I'll do another video. Anyway, I'll do a video tomorrow and I'll see you in the next episode. I'll drop you guys a message.